hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you two ways to make your fresh plantain fufu without pounding you can enjoy your plantain fufu without a hassle and i'll show you two ways to make that happen in this video so if you want to see how i achieve that then definitely keep watching if this is your first time here thank you so much for tuning in my name is ngozi and welcome to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you become part of this amazing family so now let's get started All you will need for this plantain fufu is unripe plantains, a wooden spatula, a blender, a pot, a knife, and water. Yes, that's basically it. And you also need electricity. <laughs> so, to begin, I'll cut the plantains into rings and then I'll take out the back. This is my favorite method for peeling plantains because I do not like to peel plantains but I find it much more easier when I cut them into rings and then take out the back. So next I'll cut the already peeled plantains into four halves and then I'll take out the tiny tiny specks I find in it, that's the seeds. This is just for presentation purposes, you can leave it in if you don't mind. So I'll do that, once I'm done I'll go ahead and chop them into tinier pieces so it can blend really well in the blender so i'll chop them up into very tiny pieces before popping it into my blender and blend it until it is very smooth the reason why i like to chop the plantains into pieces like this is because it helps to control the amount of water i use for blending i've noticed that when i blend the plantains when they are chunky i tend to use more water so this way works for me but do whatever works for you okay so i'm going to do that and then add a little amount of water just enough to turn the blade then i'll start blending at first you think it's stuck but it's not just shake the blender a little bit and then the ones on top can make their way down so I'll continue to do this until a thick paste is formed, then I'll begin to add water gradually to loosen it out. So I prefer to do it this way so I don't end up with a watery paste. So once everything have loosened out completely, I can now start adding more of the chopped plantains and then continue to do this until everything is done. So once I'm done blending, I'll divide this into two parts. One part I'll cook in the microwave and the other part I'll cook on the stove. And please be sure to use a microwave safe dish, okay? Next I'll check to see if the consistency is right. If it's too thick, you can go ahead and add a little bit of water. But mine was fine, I did not need to add any amount of water. Then I place it in a microwave making sure it is covered and then I set my timer to 10 minutes. Now this solely depends on the amount of plantain fufu you're making in the microwave. If you're making a larger quantity, set a higher timer. If you're making small quantity, set a lower timer. So it's been 10 minutes. Next, I'll give it a very good stir. So I'll continue to stir until everything comes together nicely. At some point, you'll find that it's becoming stretchy, which is very good. But then this fufu was not cooked at all at this point. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and then put it back in the microwave for another one minute. And the water will also help to soften it out because I don't like strong fufu. And one thing with plantain fufu is that it gets stronger as it cools down. So you don't want to make it hard from the get-go. So I added a little bit more water and then back into the microwave for another one minute. Thank you so much for clicking the like button. I just heard you click it. Bim! Thank you. <laughs> so add enough water depending on how soft you want the fufu to be. If you like it hard, then be careful with the amount of water you add at this point. But I like it soft, so yeah. In it goes for another one minute. So one minute later, the plantain fufu is completely cooked at this point. So I took it out from the microwave. Now I'm going to keep stirring until everything comes together nicely. Green plantain is very high in fiber and that itself helps to enhance weight loss. It also helps to stabilize the blood sugar. It helps to provide relief from hemorrhoids. It's very high in potassium and it's a natural remedy for high blood pressure. It also helps to regulate the heart rhythm and lowers the risk of stroke. So whether you're hypertensive, diabetic, or want to live a healthy life, green plantain fufu is one meal you should consider adding to your menu. 
Now the plantain fufu is smooth, I'll transfer it to my earthen pot and then I'll smooth it out there. Now you can eat straight from this pot, add your soup and eat. If you've eaten daybreak Santana inside this kind of pot, raise your hand in the comment section <laughs> so we know ourselves. Or you save it in a plastic wrap and the first one is done. Right, so moving on to the second method. I'll transfer the remaining plantain puree into a plate. Now, don't ask me why I didn't put it straight into the pot to just leave me. This is how I wanted to do it. <laughs> so I'll do that and then once I'm done, I'll go ahead and transfer it into the pot. That's the way to go. <laughs> Wasting of time. <laughs> Alright, so now I'll transfer the remaining puree into the pot and then continue to stir until it thickens up. Making sure that my heat is on medium low because if your heat is too high, you're going to get a lot of seeds when you are stirring at the beginning. So make sure your heat is on medium low. You can turn it back up later on. So continue to stir, no breaks. Don't worry if you find seeds in them, they will smoothen out as you keep stirring. Yeah, so I continue to stir until it's smoothened out and then next I'm going to add some more water, just a little bit of water and then cover it so it can cook down. So I cooked it down for another two minutes and look at how supple, oh my goodness, this is just so amazing. Look at how supple it turned out. So I'm going to stir everything again until it comes together and it's basically done. Don't worry if it looks too soft, it will harden up when it cools down. Like I said, plantain fufu cools down with time. So you don't even want to make it hard from the get go. So now everything is nice and smooth. Our plantain fufu is ready. Oh yeah, which swallow are you going to eat with this fufu? Look at that. I just loved this fufu. So I'll transfer it again into my pot and then smoothen it out and that's it for the second batch. Into the pot it goes, making sure to always dip your hand in cold water so you don't burn yourself. So just knead it until everything comes together and then I'll flip it to the other side that is nice. And that's it. Like I said, you can serve your soup straight in this pot just on top of this fufu like this. Oh my god, that thing, that thing can touch me in my brain. It's, it's too sweet. It has a special kind of sweetness. Now look at how soft and supple this fufu is. This is exactly how I love to eat my fufu. But if you want your own to be strong so that when they use it to stone the wall, it will create a hole there, you can also do that. It's all your choice. So this is the second batch. The first batch we made, you can see it has cooled down now and it's a bit stronger. You see what I was saying? But then it's still pliable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can serve with any soup of your choice. Ofen sala, egusi soup all in my channel the link will be in the description box please subscribe and share this video with your friends and i'll see you all in my next one 